Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Ferris Bueller once said that, and this is what I believe. My name is Martin Arredondo, and welcome to the University of Illinois. My mom and dad both immigrated to the United States at a very young age. They came with the hope of finding a better life for themselves and for their families. They eventually both ended up in Chicago where they met and had me. I grew up on the southwest side of Chicago in a predominantly Mexican neighborhood known as Little Village or La Vita as it is called by so many of its residents. Little Village is a great place to grow up. It is rich in culture and full of life. The streets seem to have their own pulse with the abundance of people walking up and down the streets on a daily basis. The neighborhood did have some downsides. For one, there was a lack of quality education for the children of the community. I was fortunate enough to attend a private school, St. Agnes of Bohemia, but not many of the kids I grew up with were so lucky. From a young age, I began to value the importance of obtaining a good education and doing well in my coursework. Even in elementary school, I excelled in my classes and performed at a level above many of my peers. That recognition only pushed me to want to do work harder, to do as well as possible in high school so that I may be admitted into a good college. There were some nights I would get three to four hours of sleep because I was working on homework or studying for a test. I would often stress myself over grades, putting an unrealistic pressure on myself to do well, and I had a belief that your grades directly measured your intelligence. I carried this belief all through of high school and stuck with me even after I graduated high school. My freshman year of college, I still carried the belief that your grades were the only thing that mattered in college. Making friends, having fun, and exercise should all come second to doing well in school, or at least that's what I believed my freshman year of college. I carried that belief with me my entire freshman year, and looking back, it was one of the biggest mistakes I could have made. I was more concerned with getting good grades and excelling in all of my classes that looking back, I don't remember much of what I learned, but I do remember some of the experiences I missed out on because I always put school first. My belief changed after my sophomore year of college when I became more involved in different activities on campus and spent less time with my nose in a book. First, I decided to take a leap of faith and pledge to fraternity. I had the stigma that all fraternities did was drink as shown by the scene from National Lampoon's Animal House. After joining, I realized there was so much more to being Greek than just partying. There are service, professional, and leadership opportunities. Now as my fraternity's treasurer, I have gained more experience managing accounts and handling large sums of money than I have ever read in any one of my finance textbooks. Through my fraternity, I've also had the chance to travel. Visiting Panama City Beach, Florida this past spring break with several of my brothers was an experience I definitely won't forget. Second semester sophomore year, I applied to be part of the Heft Technology and Management Program, a prestigious program from the College of Business and College of Engineering that seeks to bridge the gap between the two. Because of this great program, I have made 54 new friends who I will be traveling to China with this upcoming summer as part of the program. The program has also shaped me as a professional and has taught me how to step up outside of my comfort zone. Through the program, I also have been very fortunate to visit different places across the U.S., such as Walmart in Benville, Arkansas, or Google in Silicon Valley, California. That same semester, I have also applied to become a Business 101 section leader. As a section leader, I am responsible for teaching a class of about 25 students the importance of ethics in business. As a section leader, I have learned so much, such as shaping my public speaking skills, learning how to connect and relate to people, and how to be a mentor to someone and watch them grow and develop. Lastly, I obtained a job as a DJ while on campus at a few local bars. This experience has taught me how to budget my time and get my work done while allowing me to work hard and play hard too.